the Nana's Cut and Craft Corner. On this video, I'm going to show you how to make these really cute flower pot tags. And as you can see, it opens up. There's your little tag part. You could use this on so many things. Um, I'm going to be making you how to make the little pot plus turning one into a paper clip. But you could put these on cards, on gift tags. Um, you'd be great at Christmas, any holiday, birthday. You could use this for so many things. Journals, for sure, um, which I made them for. And so many other things you can make them for. So let's get started. Move this to the side. Now, you'll need... This is a little square piece of 3 inches by 3 inches to make the bottom part of the pot. And to make where the flowers are going to be going, that's a two and a half to two and a half inch square, roughly. So the first step you're going to do is the bottom part is origami. And we're going to take this and fold it corner to corner. It's a pretty simple uh, origami craft here to do. And then we're going to bring this one side up to the other side. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to press it down yet because I want to make sure the both angles are good first before we press them down. So they're going up like that. Now I'll press this down a little bit on both sides. And there's the bottom part. Uh, let's grab it. All right. It would look similar to this one here. So you're going to flip this top part and in here open this up. You're going to insert that inside there as good as you can because you'll see the top edge if you don't. So you're going to put in as much as you can. So, we, so at this point in time you can leave it like that and hide this one or I'm just going to show you other ideas here. So if I take that and flip this down in the front, it'll look like this one right here. Um, but I'm going to tuck this one in too. So you're gonna, the one flop fit tucked in, and then there's another section right in here. All right, and we're gonna just fold that flop down. And tuck that in, like so. This one's going to be similar to this one, but different color flowers. All right, so I'm make sure it's all even at the top. At this point, you can glue it or not glue it, but I'm going to glue right here, just the edge part to keep it shut. And let's close it with a clamp for just a second. To make the top part of the tag, which is this part, right here, we're going to take the, the white card stock I have right here, and I'm going to put this right here, and all I did was take a pencil and do the two sides of the pencil. Come across and do this round circle on the top of it. So we have it like that. So I'm going to take a pair of scissors. And cut right here. Can you cut all the edges off? Just, just below the pencil mark, or you just erase it, but it just fits perfectly by the time I cut the inside of the the, just the edge of where the pencil mark is, it'll fit nicely in here. So I normally come back and I'll put it in the section. Now, in a minute, there we go. I'll just test everything out. Um, and I kind of trim if I don't like this part here. Just trim a little bit off the edges. All right, so um, I have, I'm going to ink the part because I like the fact 
that it looks like leaves or whatever in the background. So I come back and I just just where the flowers are gonna be, right there. So this will fit right in here. I put it back in to, so I don't put the um, flowers too low. The stop that'll take from going in. Um, I'm going to start out now. It's uh, uh, time to decorate the way you want to decorate the front. So I am going to use something cool. These are nail designs, nail dried flowers to go on it. And I like this one. They come in three little sections of the ones I bought. I thought these would be really good for crafts. Um, I didn't buy them for nails, but I bought them for crafts. And yeah, I'm gonna use these three things to look cool. So. Move these little leaves down, oops. kinds of ways you can decorate this whatever whatever way you'd like to decorate it um, I decorate them all differently but I do like this um, these dried flowers and like I, like I said they're normally used for to do with nails but I like it on this okay so I'm gonna also use these little leaves I have cut out and uh, like I've said before you're just gonna come across I like giving it a little bit of color to it. It changes the look of the leaves once I just ink the edges on this. So I leave it in there for a little bit as I decorate it. Because if you go too deep, the tape gets stuck. So as long as I go right where the open part is to the tag and start gluing here. Some of them where they were flat, and I didn't put 2D, like they're, sorry, not 2D, but I just made one. These are double, they're two double punches I put together. And, um, but I did single ones where I just cut this one out and I put a diamond on one of them. I've done that too, if you don't like how thick this is.
me. Oh, that looks, well, that looks cool. Uh, I might squish that one in a little bit. There, let's put that in a little tighter. So I can pop up a purple. I think I'll put a purple right up here. And that'll probably be the last flower I put in. Did it? That's it. So let me bring all these other ones to show you what they look like. like the butterflies, like I said, you can do one side or the other side, or leave a flap out. Um, just there's just different ways to design all these. And here's another one. So um, I just had to make up my mind which one. I think I'll make this one into a paper clip. So that's pretty simple. You're going to take another piece of cardstock, white, whatever color that kind of blends in, because you're not going to see this. And we're going to just put the paper clip on, paper clip on, slide it over, trim this down. And it has to be hidden, so you don't want to see it. Um, I'm going to cut this a little shorter too. notice I'm going to put this vacuum part the shorter one and the longer one's going to be there so it has more uh, the length more to clip on it thanks I'll take this one for now okay so this is definitely the paper's too long so that's fine I'm going to come back and clip it as much as I can let's do some measuring instead we'll go back here some to hold on to to be glued onto the back. Alright. So I'll take that. And there you go. You just you can go longer but that'll do the trick as long as it stays on. Let's take some glue here. There we go. Perfect. Move this up here. And just, you might have to hold it for a little bit. And we'll just dry and put some weight on it if you want. Let's see if it's good. Yep. Yeah. It should look like that. So, I plan on using this for so many things, so I'm not going to make them all into paper clips. But, um, so that was that simple. So if you want to turn one into a paper clip because you need it right then, it takes a, a second to do it. So you don't have to do them all. Uh, just leave them like this, and then if you want a paper clip or whatever, whenever you need it, they're all set for you. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, please hit the red button. And if you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Um, I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye for now.